Arise, Master Bless.
peace and good love in this salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who went with faith, reverence and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our Metropolitan Deacon and our Archbishop Alexander, for the Honorable Priesthood, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, its president, all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
his redemption, and he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquity. Rejoice, O Lord, bearing cross, brethren as of the church, the tree of incorruption.
we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God. For our catechumens, Thomas, Thomas, Mason, Jason, Desi, Christian, Jacob, Zachary, John, Blake, Grace, John, William, Elizabeth, Lauren, Anna, Annalise, Lillian, and Hannah, and our inquirers, Jessica, David, Miles, Lee, Carolyn, Michael, Amy, Michael, Hannah, and Andrew, and those requiring healing, Marina, the Archpriest, Thomas, the Archpriest, Anastasi, the Archpriest, Anthony, Carson, Jane, Emily, Dan, Jeanette, Matushka, Nicole, Francis, William, Abigail, Patricia, Timothy, Archpriest, Peter, the Mitered Archpriest, Paul, Mary, George, Innocent, Jeremiah, Mary, Bridget, Ellen, Barbara, Michael, Lucius, Cassiana, Xenia, the Princess Catherine, Subdeacon Joshua, and Subdeacon jo Jonathan, and for our expectant mothers, Lauren and Natalie, and for Metropolitan Paul and the Brotherhood of the Kiev, Gage, Lavra, for Nicholas, Rose, Xenia, Gabriel, and Thomas, for our caregivers, Susan, John, Seraph, and Matushka, Kira, and Sabina, and for all our fathers and brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we ask that great mercy in our brothers and sisters who are presently involved in conflict, removed from their midst of hostility, confusion, and hatred. Lead everyone along the path of reconciliation and peace. We pray thee, hear us, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offering to do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy.
so shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these, in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be, but the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped to speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, by night, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication, for filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh, I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy bills hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. My eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hand unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders. Or shall physicians raise them up that may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and a trouble, and in troubles from my youth. Today, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long. They compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for me, thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, that you shall be renewed as the eagles, the Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrong. Not according to our iniquities hath he dwelt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as the Father hath compassion upon his Son, so hath the Lord hath compassion on, upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered us, that we are dust. As for men, his days are as the grass, and the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon the sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, and to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, 
hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath set me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me is become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, thou shalt quicken, quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off from them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. the peace from above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who went with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Our Metropolitan Teacon and our Archbishop Alexander for the Honorable Priest and the Diaconate of Christ and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this country, its President, all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city and every city and countryside and the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever. Come 
comes me round about, but in the name of the Lord I have driven them back. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself unto us. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. The stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. This is of the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Spirit. Having tasted of death in the flesh, O Lord, thou hast banished the bitterness of death by thy rising, 
and thou hast strengthened man against it by revoking the defeat of the ancient curse. O defender of our life, Lord, glory be to thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Awed by the beauty of thy virginity and the exceeding radiance of thy purity, Gabriel called out unto thee, O Theotokos, what worthy hymn of praise can we offer? Can I offer unto thee? And what shall I name thee? I am in doubt and stand in awe. Wherefore is commanded, I cry to thee, rejoice, so full of praise. At thy divinity's immutability, and the dread passion thou didst freely will, O Lord, Hades was terror-struck, and he bewailed himself. Now I tremble at his body's uncorrupt, substance tainted by no decay. I see him that none can see, waging war on me secretly. And all my captives cry out, exulting, O Christ, glory to thy resurrection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We praise his works of God, the inexpressible, incomprehensible, and inexplicable mystery, O Lord, of thy dread crucifixion and resurrection. On this day is death despoiled, stripped as Hades of all his goods. Adam's race hath now put on incorruption as fair array. We faithful therefore cry with thanksgiving, O Christ, glory to thy resurrection. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Incomprehensible, unsubscribable, in one in essence with Father and Comforter, hast thou in mystery held within thy womb as God's virgin mother. Through thy bringing forth we learn to give glory throughout the world. To the one and unconfused operation of the Trinity, we therefore cry to thee in thanksgiving. Rejoice, O full of grace.
Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Commemorating the most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God.
let every breath
great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee. That thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom. Hast thou made manifest unto me? Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Sion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. <clears throat>
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the Lord of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies through the intercessions of our all pure lady that they had told us and ever Virgin Mary by the might of the precious and life giving cross through the protection of the honorable body of his powers of heaven and the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet forerunner of that was John of the only glorious and all of apostles of our fathers among the saints the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers Basil the great Greg the theologian and John Chrysostom of the holy glorious and bright victorious martyrs of George, the Bishop of Mytilene, the repose of Tikhon, the Patriarch of Moscow, and the Lighter of North America, the Venerable Justin Popovich, and Venerable Sabas the New of Kalimonos, whose memory we keep this day, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, the Okamanana of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O merciful Lord, hearken unto us sinners, make us supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, Christ's body was nailed when he was offered in sacrifice, 
Let us venerate it with great rejoicing in our soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity of persons, O unity of essence, Father, Son, and Spirit, equal in power, one in purpose and will, one in dominion and rule, watch over thy world and grant it peace. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, who hast not known a man without seed, thou hast conceived. Pure and sinless is the birth, and the child thou bearest is the maker of all. Christ our God, entreat him to grant the whole world peace.
entreaties of thy glorious mother and visiting it in its affliction rescue it by thy power O Lord O Master who hast weighed the mountains in the balance of divine knowledge thou wast cut from the virgin as the stone cut without the hand of man glory to thy power O friend of man thou dost heal our diseased nature when in the virgin thou dost unite to it a most efficacious medicine, thine own immaculate divinity, O Word and Sovereign Master. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Behold, Christ is risen, the angel said to the women, bearing sweet spices, lament not, but go and say to the apostles, rejoice today is the salvation of the world, for through Christ's death 
the tyranny of the enemy has been destroyed. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. As we celebrate today the joyful veneration of thy life-giving cross, O Christ our Savior, we prepare ourselves for thy most holy passion, for thou in thine almighty power has brought to pass the salvation of the world. Glory to, the, to thy precious cross, O Lord. There is joy today in heaven and on earth, for the sign of the cross is made manifest to the world. The thrice blessed cross is set before us, and to all who show it veneration, it is a fount of ever flowing grace. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. What shall we offer thee, O Christ? For thou hast given us thy precious cross to venerate, on which thy holy blood was shed, to which thy flesh was fixed by nails. With love we kiss it and give thanks to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I sing the praises of the three persons in one Godhead. I proclaim one simple nature undivided, Father eternal, Son and Holy Spirit, one in throne and lordship, one single kingdom, one everlasting power. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thee alone among women, O pure lady, there was revealed a marvelous and fearful thing. Thou hast made nature new, conceiving without seed, and still remaining as at first a virgin. For the child that thou hast born is the true God. Churches and save our souls. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Thou alone hast proved to be a holy tabernacle and more spacious than the heavens in receiving the word of God, who cannot be contained by all creation, O ever virgin. O virgin, thy son, the word of God, the creator of Adam, the first created, is not a creature. Though from thee he formed for himself flesh endowed with a soul. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Equal to the Father, the Virgin Son, the Word of God, is a perfect hypostasis in two natures, Jesus the Lord, perfect God and man. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. From the tomb hast thou arisen, O light that never sets, and shone upon the world with the bright dawn of incorruption. In thy <coughs> compassion thou hast driven out the dark sorrow of death, from the farthest ends of the earth. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Cleanse by abstinence, let us draw near, and with fervent praise let us venerate the all-holy wood on which Christ was crucified when he saved the world in his compassion. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Today the ranks of angels dance with gladness at the veneration of thy cross. For through the cross, O Christ, Thou hast shattered the host of devils and saved mankind. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. The church has been revealed as a second paradise, having within it, like the first paradise of old, a tree of life, thy cross, O Lord. By touching it, we share in immortality. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I glorify three co-eternal persons in one essence, Father, Son, and Spirit, a single light in threefold brightness, one power and kingdom in unconfused identity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast conceived by the law of nature, but above that law, for thou alone hast born child without seed. We are afraid to think or speak of the manner of thy giving birth, O all blameless virgin.
and compass me at thy compassionate descent, or becoming incarnate, O Master, taking the form of a servant, thou hast deified and glorified me together with thyself. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Seeing him that was slain coming to life, the slayer suffered death. This is the symbol of thy resurrection and the trophy, trophy of thine immaculate passion, O Christ. O all pure, who alone past all understanding, dost meditate between the Creator and the race of men. Implore thy Son to be gracious to thy sinful servants and to be their protector. Form like us from an inviolate maiden. He that is without all form became a man in form indeed without suffering change in his divinity. All pure one, for thou art a haven and an abyss of wonders for all who have recourse to thee in faith. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thou hast crushed death, O Christ, and risen as a mighty king. Thou hast recalled us from the depths of hell and brought us to the land of immortality granting us the joy of the kingdom of heaven. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. O ye faithful, let us cry aloud with joy and sing triumphantly to God as we greet the cross of the Lord, for it is a fountain of holiness to all those in the world. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. The words of the psalmist are fulfilled, for see we worship at the footstool of thy most pure feet, O Lord, all-powerful, at thy precious cross, the thrice blessed wood. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. The wood which the prophet of lamentation saw placed in thy bread. Thy cross, O merciful Lord. We venerate and we sing in praise of thy bonds and tomb of the spear and nail. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. We kiss the holy cross, O Christ, which thou wast pleased to bear upon thy shoulders, on which thou hast accepted to be lifted up and crucified in the flesh. From it we receive strength against our invisible enemies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I praise the unity in three persons and the Trinity worshiped in one nature, the triune God, threefold light, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, you, free from blemish, the greatest wonder of all wonders was revealed in thee. For thou hast borne the Lamb that takes away the sin of the world. Treat him fervently for those who sing thy praises. and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. A tree brought them to my realm, but now the tree of the cross brings them back again to paradise. Amen. The Sunday of the veneration of the precious and life-giving cross. 
On this day, the third Sunday in Great Lent, we celebrate the veneration of the precious and life-giving cross. As we have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires, and will have mortified ourselves during these 40 days of the fast, the precious and life-giving cross is now placed before us to refresh our souls and encourage us who may be filled with a sense of bitterness, resentment, and depression. The cross reminds us of the passion of our Lord, and by presenting to us His example, it encourages us to follow Him in struggle and sacrifice, being refreshed, assured, and comforted. In other words, we must experience what the Lord experienced during His passion, being humiliated in a shameful manner. The cross teaches us that through pain and suffering we shall see the fulfillment of our hopes, the heavenly inheritance and eternal glory. As they who walk on a long and hard way and are bowed down by fatigue find great relief and strengthening under the cool shade of a leafy tree, so do we find comfort, refreshment, and rejuvenation under the life-giving cross, which our Holy Fathers planted on this Sunday. Thus we are fortified and enabled to continue our Lenten journey with a light step, rested and encouraged. Or, as before the arrival of the King, His royal standards, trophies, and emblems of victory come in procession, and then the King Himself appears in a triumphant parade, jubilant and rejoicing in His victory, and filling those under Him with joy. So does the Feast of the Cross precede the coming of our King, Jesus Christ. It warns us that He is about to proclaim His victory over death and appear to us in the glory of the resurrection. His life-giving cross is His royal scepter, and by venerating it we are filled with joy, rendering Him glory. Therefore we become ready to welcome our King, who shall manifestly triumph over the powers of darkness. The present feast has been placed in the middle of Great Lent for another reason. The fast can be likened to the spring of Marah, whose waters the children of Israel encountered in the wilderness. This water was undrinkable due to its bitterness, but became sweet when the holy prophet Moses dipped the wood into its depth. Likewise, the wood of the cross sweetens the days of the fast, which are bitter and often grievous because of our tears. Yet Christ comforts us during our course through the desert of the fast, guiding and leading us by His hand to the spiritual Jerusalem on high by the power of His resurrection. Moreover, as the Holy Cross is called the Tree of Life, it is placed in the middle of the fast as the ancient Tree of Life was placed in the middle of the Garden of Eden. By this, our Holy Fathers wished to remind us, to remind us of Adam's gluttony as well as of the fact that through this tree has condemnation been abolished. Therefore, if we bind ourselves to the Holy Cross, we shall never encounter death, but shall inherit life eternal. O Christ our God, through the power of the Holy Cross, deliver us from the influence of our crafty enemy, and count us worthy to pass with courage through the course of the forty days, and to venerate your divine passion and your life-giving resurrection. Be merciful to us, for you alone are good and full of love for mankind. Amen. truth hidden in the scripture to the faithful who cry blessed art thou the god of our fathers glory to thy holy resurrection o lord when thy side was pierced o christ the drops of thy, thy divinely shed and life creating blood providentially dropping on the earth refashion those of earth who cry blessed art thou the god of our fathers we bless the father the son and the holy spirit god let us the faithful glorify the good spirit with the father and the only begotten son venerating in the 
in the three, one principle and one Godhead, one crying out, Blessed art thou, the God of our fathers. O oh Lord of glory, ruler of the host on high, who sittest with the Father and was carried in virgin hands, Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Death was audacious, but thou that of the Virgin became his flesh, united with the divine hypostasis, didst destroy him when he met thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thou hast risen on the third day from the tomb as one awakening from sleep, O Lord, and by thy divine power thou hast struck down the gatekeepers of hell. Thou hast raised up all our ancestors from the beginning, O God of our fathers, who alone are blessed and glor greatly glorified. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. This day, ye peoples, let us dance and sing to the music of the harp, and greatly rejoice at the veneration of the cross, giving glory to Christ, who was nailed upon it, the God of our fathers, who alone is blessed and greatly glorified. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thy cross, O Lord, all merciful, is honored by the whole world. For thou hast made the instrument of death into a source of life. Sanctify those who venerate it, O God of our fathers, who alone art blessed and greatly glorified. Glory, o, glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thou alone, O only Jesus, art merciful and tender-hearted. Illumine and sanctify those who venerate with faith thy cross and thy divine passion, O God of our fathers, who alone art blessed and greatly glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I praise the Godhead, unity in three persons. For the Father is light, the Son is light, and the Spirit is light. For the light remains undivided, shining forth in oneness of nature, yet in the three rays of the, of the persons. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Under many different names thou hast proclaimed by all the prophets, for thou hast been revealed as the gateway of God, the golden vessel of manna, the holy land, O virgin bride of God, who has conceived in the flesh Jesus Christ, the God of our fathers, who is greatly glorified. Bless ye the Lord and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Thou hast proved to be God's temple, his living enclosure and an ark. For thou, O Immaculate Birth Giver of God, hast reconciled the Maker with mortals, and all we his works rightly praise and supremely exalt thee unto all the ages. O thou who as mother hast transcended the noetic orders and art near to God. We bless, O blessed Virgin, him to whom thou gavest birth, and we supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Thou hast shown the beauty of nature to be yet more fair, flashing like lightning with the flesh of divinity. 
We bless, O Blessed Virgin, him to whom thou gavest birth, and we supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Why do ye hold sweet-smelling spices in your hands? Whom are ye seeking? Cries the young man at the tomb. Christ our God is risen, raising up the nature of mortal men from the hidden depths of hell. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Rejoice, O cross, thrice blessed and divine wood, a light to those in darkness, shining on the four corners of the earth. Thou dost prepare us for the dawn of Christ's resurrection. O grant to all the faithful that they may come to the festival of Pascha. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. On this day the wood anointed with life, the cross of Christ, fills all things with the perfume of divine grace. Let us smell this God-given fragrance, venerating it with faith forever. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Come, Elisha the prophet, and tell us plainly, what was the wood that thou hast cast into the water? It was the cross of Christ, which draws us from the depths of corruption, and we venerate it with faith forever. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Jacob prefigured thy cross in days of old, O Christ, when he venerated the top of Joseph's holy staff, in which he saw foreshadowed the dread scepter of thy kingdom, and now we venerate thy cross in faith forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. I glorify one substance in three beings, Father, Son, and Spirit, neither confused in persons, nor divided in essence, for there is one God in Trinity, ruling over all forever. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alone among mothers, Mary, bride of God, thou hast remained a virgin. Without knowing man, thou hast given birth to the Savior Christ. It kept the seal of thy purity unbroken, and with all the faithful we shall call thee blessed forever.
Unceasing entreaties speedily and finally bring the tribes of barbarians into subjection to the faith. Most holy Catholic, oh, save us. The faithful can in no wise have enough of praising thee in hymns, O Virgin, forever adding divine and spiritual longing to longing. We magnify thee as the mother of God. Thou hast appointed to us her that gave thee birth as an intercessor, never put to shame, O Christ. Through her entreaties grant us the gracious spirit, the giver of good, who cometh forth from the Father through thee. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thou hast gone down into the tomb, O O God, the giver of life. And thou hast broken all the bolts and bars, raising up the dead, and cry aloud, Glory to thy resurrection, O Christ, the Savior, all-powerful. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Thy tomb, O Christ, has brought me life. For thou, the Lord of life, hast come and cried to those who were dwelling in the grave, O all who are in bonds, be loosed, for I am come, the ransom of the world. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Let all the trees of the forest dance and sing as they behold their fellow tree, the cross today receiving veneration. For Christ, as holy David prophesied, has exalted it on high. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. I died through a tree, but I have found in thee a tree of life, O cross of Christ. Thou art my invincible protector, my strong defense against the demons. Venerating thee this day, I cry aloud, sanctify me by thy glory. Glory to thy precious cross, O Lord. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, O church of God, as thou dost venerate today the thrice blessed wood, of the most holy cross of Christ that is attended by the ranks of angels and with fear they stand before it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I worship thee, O holy God, as trinity of persons, in unity of essence, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one power and kingdom, sovereign over all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art the great mountain, O virgin, wherein Christ dwelt. As holy David says, by thee we are raised up to heaven, all blessed lady, regain through the Spirit the adoption of sons. Yeah. 
peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating a most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens. 
footstool, for he is holy. Congregations, and understand the power of the good mystery. For Christ the Savior, who in the beginning was the Word, was crucified for our sake and buried, and rose from the dead that he might save all. Let us Before the ages, he has worked salvation in the midst of the earth. Those who guarded thee declared all the wonders, O Lord. But the council of the glory filled their hands with our reward, intending us to conceal our resurrection, which the world of glory has mercy upon.
hand, forget not my poor forever. Oh uh-huh. 
statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me.
us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Us, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Us, o Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Us, o Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Us, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Us, o Lord. A Christian ending to our life painless, blameless, and peaceful and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Us, o Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgressors abide before thine eyes. 
Thou hast hated all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy all them that speak a lie. A man that is bloody and deceitful for the Lord of war, but as for me and the multitude of thy mercy, shall I go into thy house? I shall worship till thy holy temple and hear thee. <clears throat> o Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because mine enemies make straight my hand before thee. For in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, and their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues have they spoken deceitfully, and judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings. <clears throat> According to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out, for they have invited thee, O Lord. <clears throat> and let all them be glad that open thee. They shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them, and all shall glory in thee, that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous. O Lord, as with the shield of thy good pleasure hast thou crowned us. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation, before the mountains came to thee, and the earth was formed in the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn not men away unto lowliness, yea, thou hast said, turn back the sons of men. For a thousand years in thine eyes, O Lord, are but as yesterday that is past, and as a watch in the night. Things of no account shall their years be, in the morning like grass shall men pass away, and the morning shall we bloom and pass away, and the evening shall we fall and grow withered and dry. For we have fainted away in thy wrath, and in thine anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before us, our life's end is in the light of thy countenance. For all our days have faded away, and in thy wrath have we fainted away. Our years have like a spider spun out their tail. As for the days of our years and their span, maybe three score years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have four score years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For mildness has come upon us, and we should be chastened. Who knoweth the mind of thy wrath, and the fear of thee, who can recount thine anger? So make thy right hand known to me, and to them that in their hearts are instructed in wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We were filled in mourning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice and were glad. In all our days, let us be glad, for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils. And look upon thy servants, and upon thy works, and do thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands do thou guide right upon us. Yea, the works of our hands do thou guide right. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord, and I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path. When wilt thou come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart. A crooked heart hath not cleaved unto me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him whose eye was proud and his heart and sage, which I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land that they might sit with me. And the man that walked in the blameless path and ministered unto me. The proud who were dwelt not in the midst of my house, the speaker of unjust things, prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord, all in the number of iniquities. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let earthly things be glad, for the Lord hath wrought light with his arm. He hath trampled upon death by death, the firstborn of the dead hath he become. From the belly of Hades hath he delivered us, and hath granted great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by the virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O thou that art full of grace? Heaven, for thou hast for from thee hast gone forth the sun of righteousness. Paradise, for from thee hath blossomed forth the flower of immortality. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure Mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son, the God of all. Do thou entreat him to save our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy, say, thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusations of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servants, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom of the Father, and the Lord, and the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Amen. Now the flaming sword no longer guards the gates of Eden. It has mysteriously been quenched by the wood of the cross. The sting of death and the victory of hell have been vanquished. For thou, my Savior, hast come and cried to those in hell, Enter again into paradise. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteousness, mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. This evil Lord our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments, sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about all thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of an unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages, Amen. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, and the magnified. In the name of the Lord, Lord bless. Holy Ghost, and bless and bless us, cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy upon us. Amen. O Christ, the true light, and light us, and sanctify so men who come into the world. Let the light of hands be signed upon us, that they may see the light of the portal, and guard our foot to the right of the keep of thy commandments, through the prayer of thy most and mother, and of all thy saints. Amen. Oh. 